Okay. And then hit play. And then hit split. Got it. Okay. All right. And live chat me. Excellent connection. Let me see when the picture shows up. Here we are live. We got a picture. All right. Good morning, friends. Good morning. How are we today? We have music playing in the background that we actually can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> so so figure. please let us know. If it's distracting, if you like it. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. We have a Bethany Primrose and a whole lot of other people. Good morning. Wow, everybody's just popping in so quickly here. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Alright, still setting up the cameras. The music is weird. What do you mean, Bethany, when you say the music is weird? Just having music is weird, or the fact that it's Ian McKellen singing? Nixie is here and says, hey, howdy, hey. Hello from Chechia. I'm doing art two, so glad to catch you live. How are we doing? We're doing good, thank you. Yeah, for a Monday morning, we are doing okay. I have the music at like 5% volume, so it should be just kind of background music, but this uh, this is our Animal Crackers album, so you're going to hear Queen and Huey Lewis uh -huh. and Toto with Rock and Howard Jones and Michael Buble. But... Do we have permission for this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Well, obviously, because it's our they album. They sent it but... to us, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. But we just right. want to make sure that it's not too loud. Yeah. Let us know how it is, how everything's going. No, it is overpowering. It's louder than you. Really? All right. Okay, so. What? Oh, we're over. Okay, how about, how's that? Is that better? Tell us if it's that's better. Um, oh, this might be the car. Okay. This is Donna. Let's see. Um, Hi, it's good. It's good? All right, I have it at one so I can go even lower. Um, Oh, I'm so glad you guys are getting a chance to watch me too. I'm looking forward to uh, to doing this. Okay, yes, much better. Good, good, good. Okay, good. All right. So, um, yeah, that should be good. Hello, hello, hello. I'm in Donna's microphone now. Um, I'm going to walk over to my microphone and uh, start drawing while Donna takes a phone call because, yeah. Hello, I'm over here now. Whew. Okay, so today is going to be a flock of seagulls. Now, if you didn't know what <laughs> flock of seagulls hairstyle looks like, let me enlighten you because it is the craziest thing ever. And you, you have to see it to believe it. That was the lead singer for A Flock of Seagulls. And I just, it's, it's, it's too hilarious not to do. Now mind you, there's, there's one of my favorite songs uh, is by them, which is, is it a Space Age love song, I think it's called? But I really like it. It's a, it's a good song. Um, but uh, let me, is it Space Age loves? I think it is. But uh, really good song. But it, I'll put that into the onto the playlist. But yeah, so that is the hairstyle we're going to be painting today, um, which is just going to be really fun. Uh, all right, let me get the cameras all ready to go. We're good. I think we're good. Um, all right, let me hit record. Sorry, Donna is currently occupied. But let me see here. Let's see. 
here. Here's a bigger bat here. All good? No. <clears throat> Liked? join us. Hi everybody. Sorry. How you doing? Now they're telling me it's going to be even more money. I'm like, whatever. You can go with someone else. I can't. Why? It, it, I'll tell you later. Hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Um, let's see. Um, is the music better? Yeah, yeah, they said it was. Okay, yeah. good. Um, Scott, random question. What is your, what's your biggest recommendation for a ballpoint pen sketchbook? Sketchbook? Mm -hmm. Um, pretty much anything works good with a ballpoint pen. Mm -hmm. Actually, the, um, the, uh, stone paper was pretty good with the ballpoint pen mm -hmm, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, Donna was the one who suggested Flock of Seagulls because the hair, full can of Aquanet required for that hair. So yeah. seriously, like, oh my gosh. No, we did not mean literally seagulls. Flock of Seagulls was a band in the 80s. Um, The song has changed much better. It's the... It was Ian <laughs> McKellen, and he Ian was... Ian McKellen is not... He's a yeah. Shakespearean actor, and... By the way, there's two songs I made him sing, poor guy. Yeah, you um, you'll You'll hear a duet with Gilbert Gottfried soon. Yeah. No, he is not doing birds. You guys are funny. Um... All right, come on. Let's... I'm trying to do two things at the Hold same on. time here. They okay. can wait. Okay. Um, they made you wait. <laughs> Nixie is like, I thought I had another tab open somewhere. Yeah, they made me wait. So there you go. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Everybody's like, I thought you meant literally sequels. You guys are youngins. This was a band in the 80s. You're funny. Um, I played the song for you, but... Um, Zolomite says, I've been religiously following this series, so glad you're doing a flock of seagulls. <laughs> Ryan says, ha ha, I knew you'd choose them for the hair. Yep. You gotta. Oh my god, the best hair. <laughs> Emma, Not the best, literally the worst hair. Emma but... says, that's why there's a hole in the ozone right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because of the, the sheer the volume. 80s, the 80s, the 80s is what put were the what hole in the ozone. It. Oh my god, we totally did that. It was so funny. God, you used to use so much hairspray. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. But, I mean, in our defense, our hair did not move and it looked good. Our hair did not move, people. It did not move. And, yeah, it was, it was not called a mullet. Um, so I, this is definitely not nope. one, but uh, yeah, so let's give it a shot. So I'm going to ink this and then... Um, Scott's going to try something a little different. I'm going to... Someone had suggested that uh, wetting the paper before I start painting might give it a little bit more absorption. So we are going to um, try that. Um... In my old band, we used to play their one big hit every once in a while, Ryan says. That's yeah. so funny. Hi, I'm going to draw with him. LOL, love the hair. That's broken, Brian. Um, I'd hate to walk in the rain like that. Seriously, you would be tasting nothing but hairspray. Um, kind of wish you did Frankie Valley. It's people from the 80s. Yeah, Frankie Valley wasn't really no, in the 80s. No, not in the 80s. So much Aquanet was used in the 80s, is Nixia. Right. Correct. I, I have a list of bands from the 
from the F's for you, all right? So, I compiled it already. Letter ladies, he says, I showed my husband a photo of this guy and he said, that's some hair. It is indeed. All right. Faith No More, Falco, which, yeah, I like Falco. Faster Pussycat, Fine Young Cannibals, oh, fine young Fleetwood cannibals. Mac, Lock of Seagulls, Foreigner, Frank Zappa, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, The Firm, and The Fix. So there wasn't as many F fans. <clears throat> um, for those of you that are asking, and there's been several of you that are asking, the the car is, we're moving a car from one location to another location. The car is not broken. Um, we're just trying to move a car from we're one place We're moving our son's car. Yeah. Um, so. Um, okay. Uh, inking time. Stefner says, okay, Scott, you've done it. I have no idea who this is. Oh, wow. We have stumped Stefnerd. Well, okay, I can die now. It's not like she was around for the 80s. I understand that, but she's been really on all of these bands and all the music and stuff. She's really a music aficionado, and okay, well, it's kind of funny. You guys have heard... Um, they want to know what paper you're using today. I'm using the hot press. I'm just going to water it first uh, after I ink it. So it's the Arches hot press paper, and it's like 3.9 by 9.5 yeah. inches is the size of the paper. This is a flock of seagulls. I can only play it for a little bit. But you guys... Please don't get us banned. We don't have the rights to this. That's the song you guys heard. Okay, yeah, this is the Arches 100% cotton, 300 GSM, 140 pound. 3.9 inches by 9.8 inches. That's the paper today. For those of you paper people who keep asking me. Oh my God. Let me hit record. Please do. Um, today is what? Today is Monday. 8.14. Yeah, God, my life is moving along, isn't it? All right, everybody. Um, so tell me how your guys' Monday mornings are going. Um, or at least how the weekend was. Yeah, or how your weekends were. Um, let's see, what paper, we did the what paper is it today? Um, you could also do ballpoint pen in one of those um, Strathmore um, sketchbooks with the craft paper, the the brown paper. That would be nice with, um, with, um, a ballpoint pen. Let's see. <laughs> For a second, dumb me forgot about the series and thought you were drawing an actual seagull like the bird. <laughs> what does. was the first thing you really started drawing, like your first drawing phase? Cyclone would like to know. Um, consistently, I was drawing my original character, Orion. Mm -hmm. It was like a barbarian like Conan. Cora Caves would like to know if you recommend any good pencil sharpeners for art. I haven't found a good one. I'm using the Athmat one currently, and it's okay, but um, I think the Panasonic one was the best the one Panasonic I The Panasonic was the best one, I think one, I need yeah. to go and maybe invest into another one. Yeah, those are not cheap. They're the big Panasonic ones that you like buy for a classroom. But we do have a video on pencil sharpeners and all the ones that Scott's tried. Um, no, not all the ones. How no. do y'all do art slash paint without ending up with back pain? I am standing. Mm -hmm. My table is just below my belly button. Mm -hmm. So um, my, I get a little bit of neck pain from looking down. Mm -hmm. But um, I also don't make art other than the lives. I don't make art for usually more than 20 minutes. I love your art. Could you try making a scrapbook, please? Scrapbook? Mm -hmm. Um, I could look into it, but I think that might be something Donna might do. Yeah, I'm more, more so of a scrapbook me. kind of person than Scott would be. Um, anonymous user says, a great way to start out a rainy day. Indeed, it yeah. is raining here. What paper would you recommend for watercolor, says Mush Mush. My favorite is the Be Creative sketchbook, which is what I use for my... Uh, my travel journal, mm -hmm. and there's a link in my on my website. I'm currently using Arches Hot Press, mm -hmm. um, 
uh, I like a hundred percent cotton paper. It, it just it, for me is the best. But if uh, if you are on a on a tight budget and you want something a little cheaper, I go with the Canson XL paper. But it is. There's a video mm -hmm. on the different on how different kind of papers work, and you can kind of see me compare the different ones, and you'll see a difference. But it might not be something that you really uh, notice at a beginner level. Gabby says you're so amazing at getting your likenesses in art. Any tips to improve the likenesses? Oh, thank you. Uh, I I could tell you this: if I was doing this for uh like professionally i would be tracing it because my likenesses mm -hmm. are close but no cigar kind of thing and and when i used to do like star trek covers and whatnot you'd literally have the actors would give notes on the likeness my nose isn't that big mm -hmm. or this or that or whatever mm -hmm. it might be and so they have to be um, spot on we always traced it mm -hmm. and so tracing is the best way to get the likeness uh, as close as possible. Um, Lana is doing their first acrylic painting for three years, painting Wonder Woman in a pop art style and was looking for something to watch. So thanks. Hope you're both oh, doing good. Cool. We're glad you're here that with us. That sounds like a lot of fun. I love yeah. painting Wonder Woman. Um, Leo asks, what's your biggest recommendation for a watercolor sketchbook? I need it for school. My favorite is the Be Creative uh, watercolor sketchbook. There's mm -hmm. a link on my art supplies list that is my absolute favorite paper in the world yeah um it is raining outside the hot pool today is the windsor and newton cotton watercolor set a good investment it is it's 25 dollars. that's nice and cheap um mm -hmm. it's it's good I, I i would say once you're at the point to where you are um ready to start painting more you know, start buying the individual tubes. Um, they're definitely more economically. They're 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 better in the long run economically. Veronica has a random question about friends. It's fine if no one can answer it. They're meeting up with a friend tomorrow, and they've never done that. But was thinking of getting them flowers. Should I? How to act around people? Ooh. Um. Do they like flowers? Do they have allergies? That would be my first question. Yeah. I know Donna gets allergies mm -hmm. with certain flowers. Mm -hmm. And my mom still sends me flowers on my birthday. God bless her, but... Yeah. You need to go with... Play to what the people need. But it is a very nice gesture. It is. Um, another nice thing would be to just... Uh, treat... If you're meeting them for lunch or you're meeting them for coffee or something, is to treat. Mm -hmm. Say my treat. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Um, what's a good brand for charcoal drawing? Paper brand. Ooh, I, I haven't done charcoal in a while. Here's a suggestion. Go to your local art store and ask them. Or check out Blick. Because your local art store, first of all, um, they're going to be able to, to guide you and tell you there might be new papers that we don't know about. There might be, you know, um, something new that's come out that would be really um, good for you, depending on what you're going to do. Um, so I would ask. Um, let's see. Okay. How often a week do you paint or sketch? I would say maybe five times a week. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to take the weekends off. Mm -hmm. So this this weekend I was working on another thing for my son. Um, um, let's see. It's Independence Day in India tomorrow. Yay! Oh well, Happy Independence Day. Um, there is a video, Brooke, on how to draw ears and different facial features. Check it out from the Art Hacks playlist. Question for uh, people from India: Is it? Independence Day from the British. I'm wondering how many countries <laughs> celebrate oh, Independence know. Day from the British. Probably a lot. Mm. Let's see. 
Mm. Can you trace on watercolor paper? Yeah, yeah, you can trace. Um, the best way to do tracing uh, in that case would be to project it. Do you think you could do a video on a 3D piece of art? Um, like sculpture or? Yeah, gravel, I don't know exactly what you're asking for. Scott's drawn art. Do you want him to do a three, some 3D art? I don't know, give me a little more info. Um, let's see. Um, what would you consider to be harder, backgrounds or portraits? Um, backgrounds have always been a little more difficult for me, but I think just everybody has their specialties. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, so we got to become friends with uh, Greg Hildebrand, and he had a twin brother. They were mm -hmm. called, they were went by the Hildebrand twins. And they did, uh, they did um, Lord of the Rings mm -hmm. giant paintings. Mm -hmm. And Tim was really good at the backgrounds and Greg was really good at the characters. And so they would paint on the same painting at the same time. One would do the backgrounds and one would do the characters. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, that that's uh, kind of a, 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 a fun way of kind of illustrating the fact that, you know, like you have people like Bob Ross or Thomas Kincaid, and then you have people like, say, Drew Struzan or, say, Norman Rockwell, you know, who are more character driven. Um, it, it's really just a matter of preference. And of course, there are artists who are great at both. But, yeah, I think it's a, a depending on who you ask, one person might tell you that, um, Landscapes are more difficult, and another might tell you that um, portraits are more difficult, just depending on what that person's specialty is. Have you tried to work in clay? Not seriously. Mm -mm. You know, I'd like to, but it was um, more of a farting around with the kids kind of thing. Scrungy little guy says, Hey, Scott and Donna, I've still got half a month till my first year of high school, ninth grade. Some of my relationships with friends are a bit rocky, and I was wondering if you had any pointers. Oh, um, gosh. Everything really kind of changes once you go into high school. You're mm -hmm. going to meet so many different people because it's like different schools mm -hmm. kind of merge together and yep. whatnot. Yep. Um, and I would never say to let uh, uh, a an older friendship die, but just be open to new friendships. Be meeting a lot mm -hmm. of new people. Um, I, I know we told our boys join clubs, you know, um, find something that you really like, whether mm -hmm. it be drama or art or, mm -hmm. you know, a sport or, a sport something. or something. Find something. Yeah. There are so many clubs in school. Find people who have the same interests as you. Yeah. And though that's where you'll make new friends and you'll find maybe that some of your friendships will fade a little bit and yeah. that's okay as you get older friendships change and things change or, or you might actually find out that some of your friends that you didn't know that they liked the same thing right. they're doing the same thing too and you guys just never talked about it or or tastes change you know right right but i will tell you this um just be open to new experiences and new friendships and don't worry so much about be excited for what you have coming up don't worry about what's going on with other people yeah that would be my biggest also don't advice. worry about what other people say in popularity and things yeah. like that be you be authentically you yeah mush mush um sent you a nice tip and says your art is amazing oh thank you mush mush um, we do know Kim Jung Ji. What do you think of him? And can you try his art style? I don't think I could ever mm -mm. do his art style. I have a book from him. He did an illustration. I never got to meet him. My friend Tony got me the book, but I have one of his pieces of his sketches in one of his books. And it's just absolutely, he was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Kind of a once in a generation kind of artist. Whenever you're ready, dear. I know. Hold on. I'm trying to do 26 things at or the same time. Or you can time. stop doing that thing. Um, 
Okay. I'm gonna have to take Donna's phone away today. I think I think you do. That would be great. Um, okay. Uh, how much water do you use when you use palette colors? Um, I'm assuming by patter, palette colors, you're talking about watercolors. I don't know. Um, I would assume. It's it's the right amount. Um, there's no, you know, exactly this many teaspoons of water or anything mm -hmm. like that. You, it's by feel. It's, it's very much by feel. You have to try it yourself. Like stick the brush in the water, stick the, you know, and then stick it in the watercolors and, and, and see. You know, and some days it's different. Some days there's more humidity in the air. And yeah. And, 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 you know, and yeah. so. That works with baking too, by the way. Yeah. You, you mm -hmm. have to just adjust as you go. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, I guess basically it's like just practice try it see how it works see how you like it that kind of thing you know um okay runaway silas there is a an entire playlist on markers so check that out on the on um on the channel here and let's see um There's a link to the Ohuhu markers, Amelia, and you can find the prices there. Um, it's gonna be different um, depending on, I don't know what country you're in or where you are, but it's gonna be different depending on where you are um, for shipping and things like that. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Amy spent a lot of time pulling ragweed in the yard. I'm sore now. I'm too old and out of shape for yard work. <laughs> you know, I can't go out and do yard work and pull weeds anymore without a mask on because it that's how bad my allergies are. Oh, Bethany says it's August 14th. Today is my 19th wedding anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, Bethany. Wow. You have put up with him for that long, huh? They said it never lasts. They said it wouldn't last. And here we are. Aw, congratulations, kiddo. That's exciting. Wow. Next year is 20. 20 years. That's a long time. Um, let's see. Happy Monday morning from the Oregon coast. Happy Monday morning. Oh, is it pretty where you are? Is there a store you go to for your art supplies that isn't Amazon? Oh, I don't Steve go to would Amazon. Like to know. Yeah, yeah, we don't buy stuff on Amazon if we can avoid it. Um, I go to Blick, which is mm -hmm. online. Um, yeah. They also have um, stores. Yeah, and but then just not where we locally are. we go to a place called Plaza Art in mm -hmm. Nashville. And if you'd like a nice um, video about uh, the love of a local art store, Bethany did a great oh, such video. A video. So sweet. I actually teared up. Um, she did a video on Plaza Art. That's our local art store. And um, the people there are so awesome, and the store is just wonderful, and we love going there. We really enjoy it. Um, let's see. Rosilla hung out with a friend this weekend and cleaned out in the entire shed. Woo! Let's see. I mowed the lawn. You did, and our boys did so much yard work, which was great because... Donna doesn't do yard work very well. Oh, Santa's here. I wonder if my hair would do that. <laughs> I'll bet you five bucks I could do that with a can of Aquanet or no. some kind of sticky hairspray. Santa has to start a band called A Flock of Reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, we could get somebody to shape your hair in the shape of a candy cane. <laughs> oh, or your beard. We could have somebody do the, oh, oh, they could maybe weave some little beads in the shape of the candy cane into Santa's beard. Oh, now you got me thinking. Oh, yeah, we've been married for 30 years. I know. Sound, that sounds like forever. Bethany says, to be fair, lots of people did say it wouldn't last. Sometimes that person was me. She's got <laughs> laughing emojis. Um, you're not alone, sweetheart. You're not alone. 
You're not alone. What brand of gouache do you use? Uh, Winter and Newton. I gotta say the um, the Mia Hemi gouache actually is you know did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. For the price. Yeah. Yay! Mark's telling people. Mark and Lynn are expecting. Hey, congratulations! I know. I know. I'm so excited for them. He posted on here, so I like. I've known. They sent me a picture of the little pregnancy test, and they and they messaged me, and I was so excited. So you I've known for a while. You didn't even tell me. You're right, I didn't tell you. Because Mark said, shh, it's a secret. So I didn't tell you, see how good I am? I didn't even tell Scott. So exciting for you. But he posted on here, I'm good, gonna be a dad again in nine months. Yay! All right, so we're gonna talk about the hot press, cold press thing again. So cold oh. press. Mm -hmm. You see the texture? Mm -hmm. Hot press, no texture. Mm -hmm. um, the water colors just kind of sit on the top. So someone suggested I soak it, like put some water over mm -hmm. it first. So I'm gonna try that today and see if it kind of activates the, the cotton a little bit and helps it soak in. Mm -hmm. Because I like the smoothness for the inking. Um, I'm not getting all these like weird kind of gray spots that I was with the uh, uh, cold press. So we're gonna try this. Let me erase this up a little bit. Yeah, please bit. erase the pencil first. I did, I did. Oh, okay, good. How do you make that pattern for the hair when you ink? Amelia would like to know. Um, I did a video on it, but essentially what you do is, there are, I think I lost mine. Post-its, here you go. What you do is you look for the shine, the highlight. Yeah, use an old pen. So pencil um, what I do is I go from the shadow to shadow, and that's the highlight right there. And so, and I'm looking for shapes. So if the hair is kind of doing this and it's twisting, like that, then shadow, shadow, and there's the highlight. And you're following the form. Like that. Honey, do you have any tutorials on facial hair? Not particularly. Okay, you wanna talk about that? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try to do this. Oh, God. Okay. Let me get do one thing at a time. Scott's favorite artist from the 80s was Patrick Nagel. Um, let me see if I can answer some of these questions. Okay. Here we go. Ready? So you saw that. Go to the Art Hacks playlist and you'll be able to see um, some. Um, there's hair tutorials, there's face tutorials, there's mouth and lip tutorials. Um, and Zaid, I'll get to your question in a minute. Um, let's see. We talked about where we get our supplies from. Artsy Sophie, you should join your book. You should do what makes you happy. Um, try things. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. I was on the newspaper staff in high school and I loved it. I was too. Yeah. Um, what art supplies do you recommend using for someone who doesn't use paints often but wants to? I think watercolors is a good, inexpensive way to get into paints. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to, should I blow dry it? Oh, you're asking the wrong Chiquita banana here. I don't know. Um, let's see. Scott uses a zebra brush pen for inking. All right, I'm gonna blow dry it. You wanna hit mute? Um, which one are you? Left, left. This one? Yeah. Audio. Wait, wait, wait. Audio. There you go. Okay. Um, let's see.
Hm. There's a lot of people who are first timers again. Hello. Um, may I ask why did you guys start making content, YouTube videos and whatnot? Um, I started on TikTok mm -hmm. um, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Three years ago th this month, actually. Yeah. And it was um, the pandemic. Yeah, it was the pandemic. We had nothing to do. <clears throat> and so I started just posting time lapses until uh, it was actually Santa Claus who mm -hmm. said, you know, hey, why don't you uh, get in front of the camera? You know, yeah. the, the people want to see who you are. And, and I said, no, and I ran away. <laughs> he almost did. <laughs> um, Pacer starts art school tomorrow. Hey, <gasps> oh my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, give her our best. Tell her we're so excited for her. Oh my gosh, that's so excited. I wish Scott would have done Frank Zappa, but I knew Scott couldn't resist the flock of seagulls hair. Yeah, yeah, sorry. How long have you two been together? 35 years. I did paint Frank Zappa. Um, mm -hmm. There's a video with, was it Frank Zappa, Bruce Springsteen, um, Tom Petty, and Elton John. Do you ever have your arm hair pulled out when you have your bracelets on? I love bracelets, but I always get hurt. I love your work. Uh, I've I've learned not to get those ones with the metal last. Yeah. So if you notice that this one has no metal things, mm -hmm. this one doesn't isn't that tight to, to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, I hate that. The um, it was funny. Um, I had to go into the ER a, a bit ago uh, mm -hmm. for kidney stones, and they you know they do the IV, um, you know, in your arm. And uh, putting the IV in always hurts for me. But she had wrapped it in tape. Yeah. And so when it came time for <gasps> me to leave, oh, no. they were just, she, it was so, it was like, it was like duct tape. It, and it was just ripping my hair out. And the poor nurse, because there's a needle in there too, you know? So he's like trying not to, uh, you know? So yeah, so being hairy, that or getting like an EKG or something like that, mm. never fun. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The little white pencil stubs in the crack blowing around are they're making people laugh. Um, no, we no, I never heard of Steam Powered Giraffe. It's a band. Have you heard of them? No. Um, what's your favorite medium other than paints? Um, pencil. Like markers and colored pencils. And Tracy says, darn, I missed the inking. But it'll just have All right, to go back. Blow dryer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Blow dryer. Go ahead. Good grief, he's impatient today. Um. Oh, Scott does nothing for his brushes, to be perfectly honest. Um. Um, what's the tea today? Oh, let me talk about it as soon as he's off the um, thing. Yes, yeah, Scott is very shy. Oh my God, so shy. Mm. Mm, Mark, I'm doing good today. I have I had finished one cup of tea. Actually, I finished two cups. One on the commute with my son and then a second one I just finished and now I'm having my third. Okay, let me unmute you so you can talk. Again. I gotta say, it seems to be working. Good. Can you guys, can you guys tell the difference at all, or mm -mm, not yet? It doesn't look like it's sitting on top, so that's yeah. Good. We'll see how it blends. Um, do you have any advice for young artists? My church just kicked out my art group because they apparently don't have enough room. They do. How do I convince them to let us keep going? Oh, um. I don't understand why they would kick you out if they have room, Art is but... usually one of the first things to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you guys could do journaling. Don't don't work inside. Go places and sketch. Mm -hmm. You know? My, my suggestion would be if your church is kicking you out, try your library. Do you have a library near you? A lot of times libraries will have a community room 
and they will let you schedule time an hour or two a week um, to do art. And um, typically libraries um, are very accommodating to groups and oftentimes you don't have to pay for it either, the time. Yeah. You can just reserve a time. You and guys could even meet in a... Um like a coffee shop or something yeah like that too. yeah you but could do that too you got you sure. know like you guys could could like meet different places each day mm -hmm. could be a lot of fun yeah you know you could do that you could do parks you could do botanical gardens you could do interesting um places with like old buildings okay one up girl says scott and donna you wanted an ohuhu watercolor paint review i really like them so far i'm still learning how to use them and how much water i need for the different shades oh good that's good to know Oh, Mini Kid says, I live in Tennessee and I'm at the zoo right now drawing a zebra. Good oh, for you. Fantastic. That's exciting. We may, may be at the zoo tomorrow. We have to find out. You should go back to the National Zoo and paint the animals again. We have painted so many animals at the zoo. And I will give you a little heads up about tomorrow. It is an animal that has a prehensile tail and makes adorable little noises when it snacks on foods. And his name is Charlie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't know 100% if we're going, but mm -hmm. we were asked. And... Oh, I hope, I hope. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. Time Chaser says, meanwhile, I'm spoiled and have a Blick store literally down the street. Ugh. Party pooper. Um, Tracy. Hired a professional organizer to help and has located a ton of old art projects that now I want to work on again. Good oh, for great. you! Blow dryer. Wait. Blow oh dryer. Go ahead. Good. He is impatient today. Good grief. Aww. anonymous user says i just cut off all my hair it's so light and fluffy now i am seriously debating oh sorry i am seriously debating cutting mine shorter again i loved it shorter like chin length where you accidentally cut it too short scott get me a pandemic cut you cut it too short but i really liked it steph nerd says bethany primrose's video made me go to my local art store and deliver cookies to the owner i've been going to that store for 30 plus years oh that's exciting. That's adorable. Yeah, that's cute. Um, hi, Scott. I'm Scott. I made art since the starting of my life, but no. Um, I'll just get your videos and live streams mean a lot to me. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Don't get in trouble, Ocean Lotion. I don't. They're watching in school. Um, let's see. If I want to become an artist, what do I do? Make art every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pick up a pencil. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Some people are like, I didn't know it was a band. How do you keep your brushes good? You go to Bethany Primrose's um, channel and you watch how she takes care of her brushes. And then you never ask Scott again. <laughs> I just throw them away when they're I don't throw them away but I don't I just stop using them when they're, when they're stop being nice oh god so funny oh, I forgot the hair in the back um let's see um Blow dryer is a good hack. I have learned from you. Thanks, Scott. Oh, sure. Um, Emma says, I have only had three mugs of tea today. Girl, it is 9.54 a.m. and I'm already at the same exact amount of tea as you. 
I love watching painting videos, but I prefer to use pencil because it's easier to work with. That's Chloe. I totally agree. Well dry. Ha! Got it. Steph nerd has had no caffeine today. This Monday is being a Monday. Um, you need mom to bring you a cup of coffee like right now. Stat. Mom, if you're listening, please, please bring her coffee. It is a busy morning. Um, I usually never make it for the live, so I just tried to forward through the blow dryer. You're so funny. Thanks. The blow dryer's name is Roger Roger. That way he was named by Nixia. Um, we've never heard of Tally Hall. Um, let's see. Yeah, daily love to the mods. Hot tea and scones for all. Thanks, Nicole. Um, is there a medium that you would like to use but can't get a feel for at all? Um, sculpting, I'd like to try. I've painted a couple of things before, but I'm a passionate musician. Is there any way to combine these two art styles? I don't know. I mean, I am so in awe of music and musicians. Um, yeah. You know, I, I've been trying to figure out that same thing from my end. You know, um, I, I know a bunch of musicians and I want to combine it other than like making a music video. You know, it's, it's just I haven't figured out a way to, to combine those two, but... For you, I would just say just journaling would be really fun. Yeah, an art journal or a writing journal or something like that. Blow dryer. Blow dryer. Oh, yay! See, I probably drink more tea. Well, actually, I probably drink an equal amount of tea and water every day. That's that's probably that's probably what I do. How do you get scolded for drinking too much tea? I don't. Scott never says a word to me. And if he did, I wouldn't listen anyway. Or liver, on the other hand. <laughs> no, if I was drinking, drinking like wine or something, it would be a problem. My liver loves tea as do all my other internal organs. They scream for it. Give me tea, we're awake now. Your liver loves tea like ladies love Cool J. Mm-hmm, sure. Um, let's see. A lot of people thought you were actually drawing seagulls. Did <laughs> wetting the paper help? It feels like it did. Um, I'm, uh, I'm trying not to let it like, uh, be a mental thing like I'm convincing myself that it did but it kind of does feel like it helped a little bit mm -hmm. um, can you tell us what inspires you other artists okay yes sorry um, Robert yeah the um, I've been muting Scott we have two different microphones now you, you haven't been in a while and so I have a microphone and Scott has one on the um, on the um, Logitech the webcam that he's using to to video this and to to um show you on the stream so now i hit the um you hit the button the mute button so um you guys don't get blasted into your ears at least we're trying to make it a little more um you know ear friendly for everybody um if you're asking about the art supplies that scott uses if you go to um, Scott's art supply list. Everything's listed there. The paper he uses, the art bag. Uh, 
Uh, yes, Scott is using photo reference for these. Um, I had um, the new Harrods tea, or the Knightsbridge blend, which was the strong breakfast tea. I need to do a blow dryer. Thanks, it says brush care. I don't need no stinking brush care. The Spirit's Demise is asking if you have any recommendations for watercolors or gouache for gallery pieces. They're hoping to branch out, but worried about quality. Um, I, if you're going to worry about gallery pieces, I would definitely go with something like a Windsor & Newton. They're the professional brand. And there's other professional brands, but that's the one that I use. Mm. Yeah, Scott is really going with the blow dryer today, isn't he? Oh, you gotta get a, use a lot of blow dryer for hair like this. Let's see. <laughs> I just got that blow dryer hair. I just got that. In. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, you guys are so funny. They just love the clock. You guys crack me up. Um, what kinds of tea blends do you guys like? Any recommendations? Okay, so. I don't know where you're located, if you're in the States or out of the States. My favorite tea that wakes me up is the Harrods um, Knightsbridge blend. It was their strong breakfast. Another one that's really, really good is Berry's Irish tea. And um, their shipping is amazingly fast too. Um, but don't drink their Black Box, which is their master blend, unless you like really strong tea. It's very strong. It will definitely wake you up. Um, I also just tried, I bought a box because my son was, my son was drinking Red Bull, Bethany. And, um. You blame Bethany for that? No, oh. I blamed, I just blamed Bethany by default because oh. why not? But, um, so I told him, I'm like, you can't drink that stuff, it's bad for you. So I started making him different blends of tea. So I was at Trader Joe's and they have a brand new organic Assam tea. And I'm here to tell you that it is not only good, but it is strong. Blow dryer. And I was pleasantly surprised. And he liked it. So there you go. Okay, honey, the ultimate question, are we getting George Michael tomorrow? No, no, um, maybe not. I mean, I just drew George Michael for Music Monday, and I really liked the drawing, how it came out. Um, I've been, I might go with the Go-Go's. But there's also a lot of G's mm -hmm. that that would be good. Guns and Roses mm -hmm. slash would be really fun to draw. Oh God, his hair! You know, covering his. You know, yeah. like so. I, I'm I'm trying to for W. I could do him for Wham, mm -hmm. but I'm also considering Whitney Houston. So it, it's tough to narrow it down to just one. But I'm also factoring in who I've already drawn mm -hmm. several times. That's why I didn't do like Elton John or David Bowie. Um, I think I will wind up doing Freddie Mercury again for Queen. Just yeah. because, you know. Everybody. And he's, yeah. yeah. Though it um, might be fun to do Roger May, but I think Freddie Mercury is definitely more. Not Roger May. Ryan May. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I know. Christ. Yeah. sakes. Yeah. Don't Ryan ever May. say that on a live again. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, oh good, Bethany put the brush care. Stefnard, I have had no caffeine. You you need caffeine. I I, I just uh. people you don't need caffeine. How has art impacted your life and your family? 
Um, you know, it's funny. Um, ha ha. It, it's, there was a time where we were really, really having a, a, a hard time financially. I was not in my 40s, you know, early 40s. And we were just, we were really close to losing our house. We were on food stamps, everything. And my family was like, yeah, maybe now it's, maybe it's time to just go get a real job. And it was so hard for me to even comprehend that because art is who I am. It's who I've always been. So art is, you know, I know that there's people who their occupation, I'm an accountant or something like, doesn't define them. But for me, being an artist is who I am. It, it, it's just always been that way. You being an artist is kind of like how me being a mom defined me. I think that defined me more than anything else in my life. Really? I think if I would have done something else that I really loved instead of just choosing sort of the path of least resistance, I think that my career could have defined me more. But I think the defining moment for me was, was motherhood. And I also... Um, Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how I want to, what I want to say exactly. Okay. I think that's sort of evolved over the years too, because I've always worked with you. Either I've worked out as a job, or I've been home, but I've always been working with you. And it was really funny. Um, one of our boys pointed that out to me. Like, mom, you've always been working at something. Yeah, I'm and looking. Sorry, I'm looking at background colors to see which ones I haven't used. Um, that is the, the music you're hearing is the Animal Crackers soundtrack. You are correct. Um, we have a colored pencil playlist, so check out any tips in there. Scott never cleans his watercolor palette. Um, this is a stream where we're watching the paint dry today. How do you make art for fun and not to impress somebody? I think journaling is a good way to do that because you wind up, um, being more personal. You're doing stuff just for you. <clears throat> Any advice for building a portfolio for art school? I have dreams of going to SCAD someday, but I'm worried it'll be too hard to get into. Um, look at what you want to do as a career, whether it's character design or storyboarding or whatever you know, you're planning on doing, and copy the artist that you love. Not just one, but several. Mm -hmm. And get really good at that. And... Build your portfolio for the job you want to have. Mm -hmm. um, I sent you a drawing in the mail around a month ago and I was wondering if you received anything. The French Post didn't say any news about it. Okay, um, Mark, what was the drawing? What did it look like? Mark, I did. And it was the nicest, Aww, kindest thing cute. I have ever received. Love it. I, I didn't know of a way to get in touch with you. But your, your letter was so wonderful. I was wondering if I could read it on, in a video. It was so nice. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, let it us. It really touched me. Let us know. And the drawing was just fantastic. Let us know. I kept it here just in case Actually, I might hear he from did. you. It's, it's literally right here. <clears throat> You guys are funny. Um, do you always listen to music when you're drawing? I do. Except that we can't hear the music you're listening to right now. Yeah. I, I, um, there was a time where I was doing a lot of, um, uh, Audiobooks. Too. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Why does my zebra brush pen look like it's running out of ink when it's not? Um, sometimes they do that. Uh, it's it's uh, put the cap on, shake it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that helps. Just be careful because sometimes the ink will just come kind of pouring out. Um, the other thing is sometimes you can dip the dip the tip into a. Uh, 
It's into some water, maybe some hot water. Mm -hmm. um, I would ask Bethany if there, I know there's a difference when you're doing um, care for oil paints with your brushes. Um, I would ask her about brush care because Scott doesn't do brush care at all. Oh, uh, I, I owe you the tea links. I'm sorry. I'll go through those as soon as I can and get you those. I've been very, very, um, all I've been doing since my boys have been home from school is cooking. That is all I've been doing. And driving. Yes, cooking and driving. It's been insane. Um, how did you get your footing as an artist? Like, how did you start to make a living off of your art and continue to grow? I can't say I've ever made a living with my art until recently last mm -hmm. year with uh, YouTube. And that was really only temporary, too, because that kind of fizzled out mm -hmm. um, by towards the end of the year. But um, really, it's hit and miss with being an artist. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah. The palette is plastic. It's the San Francisco palette, and it's listed in our the art supplies that Scott uses. And you're watching him blend watercolors right now. And surprisingly, no, I have not seen the Barbie movie yet. Our boys have seen it, but I have not seen it. One of girls says Donna being a mom and a homemaker is who I am, so I feel you, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I love being at home with my little one. I really was, I felt incredibly fortunate to be able to be home with my boys. Um, I felt really, really, really fortunate. Oh, dryer. Okay, hang on. Let me do that. didn't see the Barbie movie so we will have to do that <laughs> Nixia says Scott doesn't need caffeine we need caffeine or we cannot function that is 100% correct 100% correct um, Scott's been drawing since he was six or seven he's 54 I'm gonna let you do the math because it's Monday morning and I'm too tired to do it we are in the central time zone um, is there a reason why the watercolors don't move from the blow dryer? Is it the quality of paint or how much water is added? It's how much water. Um, I'm just very careful from just practice how much water to add. <laughs> Bethany says, I'm used to taking the blame for everything. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Love you. You guys are cracking me up. Um, how do I not mess up with watercolor portraits? I always end up with a mess. Is there any video on your channel for that? Uh, mess. What do you mean by mess? Can you be more like, are the colors all blending together? Are they, what, what do you define mess? Um, let's see. How do you paint without smudging? Uh, yeah. Still muted. Shit. Sorry. And that is the meaning of life. Yeah. I won't be very saying it again. Funny. Very funny. Scott is still muted. Sorry, I unmuted him. Can you hear him now? <clears throat> um, I have done knitting. I have tried crochet, but I can't understand crochet. It does Blick allow you to buy from competitors? Um, we buy from whoever we want to buy. Yeah, from. we're not sponsored by Blick mm -mm. or anything like that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, the pen is kind of being wonky. Is it again? So stupid. Let me try a different one. 
I don't like wonky pens. They bother me. Um, for everybody who's asking, you're watching him blend his watercolors with the hair and everything else. You're watching him right now. Well, I also and don't blend my watercolors. He, he layers them. Yeah. So, um, and he dries in between the layers, which is why he'll put down one color and then he'll and blow that's dry just it. A, it's just it's just a style. It's not a yeah, that's like a technique or anything that mm -hmm. that is important. It is just something that I just decided I want to create these edges just to give myself something that stands out. And I think a lot of times we do that whether it's in our hairstyles or our clothes or the way we talk or anything just to say this is something that makes me me. And so that's just something I kind of just, it happened by accident one day and I went, huh, that's kind of interesting. And just started doing it a little bit more. But it is definitely not like this is how you do watercolor. Correct. Um, Systematic Entropy sent you a huge tip. Thank is you. the meaning of life 42 or an endless <laughs> supply of coffee? Uh, yes. Yes. For, Bethany says 42 cups of coffee. That That's a beautiful answer. That's a beautiful answer. 42 cups of tea for my case. Um, yeah, Scott doesn't use acrylics, but I would check Bethany's channel because the way she works in oils, I think is similar to acrylics. Don't quote me on that. Um... Echo Echo says, good morning, Scott and Donna. Donna, have you tried Po Me A Cup Raven Blend Tea? No, it's cranberry blood orange flavor. Oh, that's hysteric. That That's funny. That's hysterical. No, I have not, but I will. Where do you find that? Is it online? Um, Scott does not use acrylics at all. Like rarely. Actually, I won't say at all. I would say rarely. A name sanity says, and that is the meaning of life, Scott, with no context. Do you like potatoes? Uh, only if they're French fried. I like lots of potatoes. Baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, French fried potatoes, waffle fried potatoes. Do you like scalloped potatoes? I do like scalloped potatoes. Really? <gasps> potatoes with cheese. Do you like potatoes au gratin? I do. Those potatoes with cheese. Oh. Yep. Yep. I just like the sound. Twice that. baked potatoes. Thrice baked garlic potatoes. Garlic potatoes, boiled potatoes. Oops, let me sign it. So many potatoes. How are you so patient to trust the process? Um, because I've messed up so many times mm -hmm. and had to throw it away that I'm just like, eh. If it happens, it happens. If it, I am so ambivalent at this point as to whether the art is good or not. I want it to be good, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I've made so much bad art that... He has. I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have been on a Big Bang Theory kick lately. Um, kind of watching reruns of that now that I'm watching um all right so i don't think scott chose to be an artist i think that was just what he did um you might have answered this before if so i haven't seen it or forgotten do you only use the swiss medic bag for traveling or do you unpack it and use it for art in the hobbit hole as well no 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 it's it's just packed away and only for um travel mm-hmm Um, let's see. What are your thoughts on ac acrylic gouache versus regular gouache? I like them both and I've painted with them both. And um, it just depends on my mood. Yeah, he's not a mood guy with anything except art. And then he's a total mood guy. It's like, mood. Yeah. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. How appropriate for the Hobbit hole this morning. Yeah, they're funny. Um, we watched the first three seasons of Stranger Things, but not the last one. Uh, we've been together for 35 years. My daughter found it based on her tea shopping habits. I'm guessing World Market or Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, correct. 
Come to Ireland. The potato was a massive part of our dishes. <laughs> um... Oh, Eric is at work, but she's passing by. Hi, Erica. Hello. How long did it take you to discover your style in art? I'm still discovering it, honestly. I think for me it's ever-changing because I get bored very quickly. Um... You do indeed. I wasn't doing this three years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I I, I went through a, a gouache phase. I went through a digital, like, 3D art phase. I went through colored pencils and markers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it, it just... It changes. Mm -hmm. It changes. I've never tried a Japanese sweet potato. Uh, we met working at a uh, department store that is no longer existing um, while we were in college. Um, have you drawn any dinosaurs recently? Yes, in my sketchbook. Mm -hmm. uh, look in the... Nashville I, Zoo. Uh, yeah, the Nashville Zoo playlist mm -hmm. uh, with Betty White the Iguana. Mm -hmm. Correct. Betty was so cute. Yeah. All right, I think we are done. We are done. It looks very nice. Um, yeah, it looks good. All right, guys. Well, it's Monday. <laughs> and uh, Happy Monday, it's, everybody. Yeah, clearly it's Monday. Donna's just going to go up and make another cup of tea because it's Monday. So um, <laughs> have a great one, you guys. And um, we will see you back here on Wednesday morning. Or the letter G. Yes, for the letter Will G. it be Guns N' Roses, or the Go-Go's, or George Michael? Or Go West? I don't think it'll be Go West, but... Mm -hmm. You never know. You never know. All right, everybody. Um, we will see you then. Have a great one, you guys. Bye. <laughs>